Hello, I'm Yoko, and the day this video is going up is December 18th, 2022. And it is officially the two year anniversary of the first video I ever posted on my channel. I did this type of video last year, and basically this is going to be a recap of how this year has gone for me in regards to my channel, as well as my future plans and stuff I want to do going forward. This is mostly something for me to like look back on to see how I've grown as years have gone by, but yeah, let's just hop into the rambling. Like last time, I won't be commenting on the art, really, in the background. Just know that it has a bunch of references to things that I did this year. So let's start with the big fact that as of recording this, I have around 950 subscribers. Like, I can't believe it. Wow, you guys are so amazing. I'm so happy and grateful to everyone that decided to give my channel a watch and click subscribe. Um, this is a big jump from last year when I only had around 150. I still can't believe it, and thank you to everyone who watches. Um, with that said, I actually wasn't as productive as I would have preferred to have been this year. I wanted to get back into my videos every week schedule that I slipped out of after going for some art block and some other stuff. Um, I'm thinking my goal could be to try to get the videos ready by Friday now, but have them actually scheduled to go up on Sunday. So, in case I need more time, I can have a, a, a day or so. And I think maybe that can help, so we'll see. Um, as of right now, I'm actually getting into the swing of productivity a lot better. But yeah, let's just get into what I actually did this year. And I'll start with some smaller things. I made new talk sprites for my intros and outros, and I made an overlay for my speed paints. Um, the overlay is mostly to cover my dashboard so you don't see things like me drawing at 2 a.m. Uh, <laughs> I'm only half joking. Um, still haven't gotten around to making a new channel banner, but that's on the list and I will get there eventually. I did three more letters in my ABC series, so now I just have six more to go. <laughs> um, I was planning on doing a lot more and hopefully finishing up that series this year, but you know, things happened. Hopefully I can finish this up next year since this is the series I started my channel on, and it will be very satisfying to reach the end. I also made a simple PMV for one of my OCs with the song Paper Moon, and I was planning on making more things like that with like my other characters, but I never got around to it. But I'm hoping next year to get around to doing more personal projects like that. I still have a turning pink animation meme I was work that's like a work in progress that's like collect collecting dust on my computer. So hopefully I can get around to finishing that. If you heard that, my cat just jumped on the couch where I'm sitting. I also want to get into the swing of my Animal Crossing Gajinka series since this year I only managed to post the cows and the ducks, I think. Um, which is a shame because I really enjoy this series and the process of making it, and there's so many villagers, and I can't wait to draw a bunch of them as humans because there's a lot of them that I just I just can't wait to get to. Um, I have started the next species of the humanoid Animal Crossing people that I'm doing, but it's one of the species that has a lot of villagers, so it'll need to be split into two videos. That being said, I'm planning on finishing all the villagers in the species and then posting a part one and two video that were close to each other so you can watch them without too much of a gap in between them. That being said, I plan to have that done in about a month, <laughs> uh, give or take, maybe a little longer, but about a month. And a similar statement can be said about my Pokemon Gajinka series. Expect a return in January for that one, and then hopefully a weekly... Weekly? No, no, not weekly. <laughs> and then hopefully a monthly upload, since there's consistently only about six designs for each video of those. Um, I just find a lot of fun in taking something and then working on a character design to try to make them human. I think it helps with, like, my art in general. <laughs> so I really like making those videos. Another thing about this year that I didn't get to do is make too many fake mon videos, but I'm happy with the ones I did make, and in my last one I did express that I would like to pace myself more with these videos, especially due to, like, the work involved and the effort I need to put in, because it's a lot of work to make fake mon and make the names and things like that which was something I wanted to get off my chest and actually announce. So that being said, I still have plenty of fake mon videos, ideas, and I want to share them, but I will be taking my time. <laughs> I do actually still need to update my fake mon Instagram now that I think about it with the, the mons I made recently, and I think in the video before this last video. I'm really bad at updating that. I will try to get better at it. I also didn't finish Mermaid this year. I made two videos, but I got tired towards the end of Mermaid, but I'm hopeful for next year. One thing this year I did, though, was that I joined Art Fight for the first time, and that was so much fun. I only made one short video talking about it where I showed all the art I made, but I'm hoping to join next year, and um, 
perhaps uh, by that time I'll have figured out how to do good live streams potentially and get a nice setup. So maybe I can do some of my um, drawings and attacks on live streams and maybe attack some of you guys that are in the stream. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just uh, spitballing ideas and stuff and just talking about ideas. <laughs> And if I do end up doing live streams, I think I'd also like to do animation live streams where you would just watch me try to animate the things I'm working on, if anyone would be interested. And speaking of animation, one of the big things I visit, uh, bleh, I swear I can talk, one of the big things I did this year was get into animating and joining a lot of multiple animator projects, or maps for short. Um, I've been having a lot of fun slowly learning with each project and getting faster and hopefully better with each one. Um, I think I joined 12 maps this year, unless I miscounted. I'm still working on finishing a few, though. Um, I was able to animate a big variety of things this year, which was really fun. Um, from Warriors to Multi-Fandom to OC maps. Um, it was fun animating so many different things like Fruits Basket, The Secret Saturdays, Planet, and others. Um, I definitely joined a few impulsively due to being way too excited about either the concept of the map or, like, the song choice. I am a sucker if I love the song. It's, it's hard for me to not just join. <laughs> Though I've done my best to be good with deadlines. Um, I think I might have only needed like one or two extensions. So don't quote me on that. If you're a map host that I joined and I, and I needed an extension, let me know. <laughs> but I like to think I was punctual and very um, open with my map hosts. Um, I'm going to try to limit myself to joining and working on two map pro parts at a time. But we will see. The most I want to be working at at a time is probably free, so I don't get overwhelmed. But two, two seems my ideal. Um, I also like posting work in progress videos at the end of the month, so you guys can see sneak peeks of what I'm working on. Though I've been privating them after I post the next work in progress video to avoid cluttering up my, my uh, YouTube. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of me doing that, because I don't know, I thought it was fun. I'm planning on making a compilation of all my 2022 completed parts, by the way. Uh, basically what I've discovered is that I really like joining these and I'm slowly getting better at them too and it's really exciting and I can't wait to join more in the future. I also may or may not be planning on hosting one of my own. It's still in production and probably will stay that way for a while, but it's getting, uh, it's going to be a storyboarded Warriors one with a really fun vibe. Um, I'll release sneak peeks to when I'm closer to making it official. I still need to make a lot of reference sheets, like 75, like 70 percent of the storyboard. Finish the rules doc and the script, even though it's storyboarded. I want to make a script so you guys know exactly what's going on, and finish and like figure out the background guides and what that should look like because I'm not very good at backgrounds and I might need help with that. Uh, speaking of that, I kind of don't know what I'm doing, so I kind of hope I can try to find someone with a little more experience in hosting maps to help me co-host, possibly, or at least give me some advice. I love when loud cars go by the window, but yeah, um, expect that at some point. I'm thinking maybe March, maybe February if I'm lucky, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be March with all the other stuff I'm doing as well. And with that said, let's talk about the elephant in the room and where a bunch of you guys came from. Three months ago, I made a video where I drew my clan gen cats, Galaxy Clan, and explained their lore. I figured that would just be a self-indulgent video where I rambled about my fictional pixel cats in a game I played, but oh boy, you guys loved it, and I'm so happy because that means I get to talk about them more. I just posted the year two video, and I'm working on the bonus art for year three alongside other things. Also, I'm just realizing that my last video is like year two of Galaxy Clan, and this one's going to be two years of YouTube, so lots of two years going on right now. But yeah, my current plan would be to keep going uh, with the years until about 100 moons. So eight years with the eighth year having a few extra months on the video, and then possibly a bonus episode coming back at 200 moons in game to see the new generation of cats. But honestly, I'm willing to just keep going year by year until you guys get tired of it. <laughs> I have some natural disasters and events generators that I'm working on making that I can use if we get to like a second page of cats to avoid overpopulation. Like, for example, there's, like, harsh winters that, or mass outbreaks of disease or et cetera, et cetera. You know, things like that. So hopefully the clan can stay a nice size as well as add some drama and get actually attached to the cats that are in it. Though, without spoiling, I will say there is definitely drama waiting in year three. 
But yeah, Clan Gen's been a lot of fun, and I love reading all your comments, and it warms my heart that I have become an inspiration to others to make similar videos. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy to me. Like, I just love hearing about your guys' favorite cats that are in the clan and things like that. It's just really fun. I love all the feedback. Now, for some other future plans that hopefully I can do. Like I said, I want to do more personal projects like videos related to my OCs beyond just clan gen, since I have so many and I'd love to talk about them. I'd probably start with my Despair Emporium characters, which is my Danganronpa fan comic that I've been neglecting and am trying to get back into updating. I kind of want to do character videos like Oliver's Antics does and just ramble about them and answer some questions and things. Um, I figured those would be the easiest to start with since they're already in a comic. And some, most, not most of you, but like a lot of people are familiar with them already. Beyond that, I also want to try at least doing a few uh, more PMVs, AMVs, map parps, or animatics involving my characters, or animation memes and stuff like that. I have a list of things I like to do, so we'll see if I get to it and how many of I actually end up doing next year. I think the goal I will set for myself now um, will be free personal projects that will include my OCs, uh, that are would be like PMVs and AMVs or uh, animation memes or something like that. I'm not going to include, include map parts because map parts are really quick. I also might post ramble videos every now and again. Currently I have one about Pokemon Violet and my thoughts on it that I'm making, so hopefully you guys like that. I also want to actually get to some, do some seasonal related videos next year as I was pretty busy slash in an art block state this year to do stuff. Off the top of my head, a Valentine's and Halloween video would be really fun to do again. Also, pride videos. I had one planned this year, but I didn't get to finish it, so the concept has been... Bleh. I swear I can talk. So the concept has been scrapped until next June. But yeah, overall, my goal next year is to get back into uploading consistently and not to get too demotivated if I miss a week, because that's what leads me into missing a month. <laughs> Um, also, part of my bad scheduling this year, I think, was that I usually bullet journal to keep organized, but I actually was pretty lazy with it this year, and I was like, hmm, let me see what happens if I just don't do it, and then I just didn't do anything, so yeah, I'll be going back to doing my bullet journal. I miss it anyway, and I'm already starting and setting up my 2023 bullet journal, so excited to get back into that. And with that said, that's basically all I have to say, not too much to say. <laughs> Thank you for everyone that watched this and everyone that subscribed to me. It's a dream seeing how many of you are, and I'm so glad I started this channel. I'm almost at 1,000. It's, it's a dream, I swear. You guys are very supportive, and I love reading your comments. Here's to another year, and hopefully more. With that said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace!